I also think there's a natural human instinct when we're reviewing anything, like any kind of proposal. You see specifics laid out in front of you, you're going to oppose it. Like maybe this is me as a professor grading student papers, but you give me specifics and my instinct is to find sort of something to critique in them. And so I think we need to have a conversation about how we present ideas to communities and to neighborhoods. And so one thing I've seen urban planners do that elicits more positive feedback is to have these neighborhood visioning processes where instead of asking people to say, here's a project, do you think this is a good idea or a bad idea for this neighborhood? You instead bring people together. And I saw one where they actually had like a 3D model of the neighborhood and you say, hey, what would you like to see in this neighborhood? And so at the one I was at, they talked a lot about commercial establishments. They wanted like a gastropub. Um, and so the urban planner who was there then said, hey, if you want this gastropub, you also are going to need a lot more density in this town center. You're going to need to build up to four stories. So right, it was about sort of the building height. And so I think you know it's not necessarily a brand new group of people, but you're reframing the conversation so that a group of people who might have been predisposed to oppose a very specific proposal will instead have something different to talk about.